We're going to demonstrate the independent samples t-test in SPSS. The data here are from a study where we're looking at recall and the difference in recall between people who view pictures versus words. Data from two groups is represented right here, the first group here, the second group here. If we toggle here we'll see this is the data from the pictures group, this is the data from the nouns group. To do the analysis we'll go to analyze, compare means, independent samples t-test. We're going to test the number of words recalled and we're going to group those data by the grouping variable, the values of which are 1 and 2, which we just saw. Say OK. We get our analysis here. Those who saw pictures recall on average about 20 items. Those who saw nouns recall on average about 16 items. Is this difference statistically significant? We're going to look in the first row here. The t-value is 1.864. We're going to find that the significance of that t-value is 0 0.08, meaning that the difference here is not statistically meaningful. doesn't matter whether you saw pictures or nouns, your recall is about the same. Let's demonstrate this same test using the Luther Alcohol Survey. And in this case, let's look at the difference between binge drinkers and non-binge drinkers in terms of the number of college alcohol problems that they have. So once again, we'll go to independent samples t-test. We will come down here and find our variable again, which is the college alcohol problem scale. Move that in and test that variable. We're going to test that variable in terms of differences between binge drinkers and non-binge drinkers. So we'll move that over into the grouping variable. We'll define these groups, which again are the values of 1 and 2. We'll say continue and we'll say OK. Going to our output, we'll find that those who do not binge drink they drink monthly or less, there's 159 of those people in the sample, and they have 1.299 or about 1.3 problems in terms of college alcohol drinking. Those who do binge drink, that is two times a month or more, there's 52 of those people, and they have about 1.79 college alcohol problems. So is this difference statistically significant? Well, let's come down here again. We'll look at the top row. The t-value is a negative 5.616, and the significance of that t-value is 0 .000, but we know that there's something there that's a 0 .001. What that means is that the difference between non-bingers and bingers is statistically significant. Binge drinking college students have more college alcohol problems.